the great teachers in my life, uh, Carl Jung. Um, and I was trained in, in sort of Jungian therapy and Jungian al analysis and so on. And uh, he wrote something called Stages of Life. It says, thoroughly unprepared, we take the step into the afternoon of life. Worse still, we take this step with the false presupposition that our truths and ideas will serve us as hitherto. But we cannot live the afternoon of our life according to the program of life's morning. For what was great in the morning will be little at evening. And what in the morning was true will at evening have become a lie. Well, these words really resonated with me from Carl Jung's The Stages of Life. Is, and, and if I could reword that, basically what he is saying is that as we move into the meaning phase of our life, the afternoon of our life, we are taking the ideas and the constructs and the rules and the guidelines and the provisions that we learned in the morning of our life, which is focused exclusively on ambition and getting ahead and getting more and being better than everybody else. We take those same kind of constructs into the afternoon of our life when meaning is, is far superior to, uh, to ambition. But as he says in here, we end up living a lie. And the lie is because what was true for us in the morning, which is I have to get ahead, I have to win, I have to be the most successful and so on, in the afternoon have become a lie. But we don't know how to move into the meaning phase of our life. And the meaning phase of our life is the time when we shift back to the, the time in our life when we were in our mother's womb in those first uh, nine months. That's the meaning phase where we have surrendered, where we have, as Lao Tzu said, you're doing nothing, you're just being done, you know? And we can find our meaning by trusting in our nature, by, by recognizing that I am here to do more than just accumulate and be better than somebody else. In fact, it has absolutely nothing to do with it. One of my, great teachers early in my life was uh, Abraham Maslow and and I remember him saying very specifically that if you want to become self-actualized if you want to live a life of meaning the first thing you have to do is become independent of the good opinion of other people the first thing you have to do and the second thing is to become detached from the outcome those were the two no, the top two criteria for for highly functioning people independent of the good opinion of other people which is exactly the opposite of what we learned in the ambition phase of our life and detachment from outcome which is the other opposite you know to, in, instead of it's like we don't go out there to try to make, you know, to, to do something to make a lot of money. That's, you know, detachment from outcome is like you don't do it because of how much money you're going to make. You do it because there's something inside of you here that is telling you this is what you're here for. This is what you have to create. This is what your purpose is. You're going to make the world a better place. You're going to fulfill a destiny, a dharma that you signed up for, you know, when you, before you even entered your mother's womb. I mean, that that's the kind of thing that you begin to to feel inside of yourself so that you're you're moving into that stage but you want to you want to move into the after what, what Jung calls the afternoon of your life you want to move into that armed with a whole a whole collection of, uh, of of practices and beliefs and, and guidelines that uh, that are work that work for you rather than work against you so that you're not you're not trying to feel fulfilled and, and meaningful and purposeful in your life by by setting goals, by trying to get ahead of the other guy, by trying to win, by worrying about how much money you're going to make, by worrying about whether it's going to be liked, by whether other people like it. Uh, and that just goes back to, you know, the ego says it's all about your reputation. So learn, you know, learn to get a good reputation, learn to get people to like you. It's why people have such a problem with politics and, and, and political people, because they're consistently out there just trying to whatever group they're talking to, to get them to, to, to agree with them. And then they say something different and something different, and, and there's, there's no meaning and power in them.